PJ, I mean, you made the play of the day today, and you know your your helmet all spring was covered in those you know those takeaway stickers. How would you assess just your overall efforts this entire spring? Oh uh, man, just putting that extra effort, man. Like with my with like my fellow DB players and stuff, man. They always hit me up, man. But it started from like last season, just getting everything from Eric Hallett, because him being my roommate before the game, man. I was like, I was aggravating him, like I, I need to get all the information I can get when my time come, man. I need to, I need it. I need to know everything about this position because. Field safety—that's probably the hardest position in college football, 100. And when you look at the, you know, the past players who have played that position here, I mean, you, you mentioned Eric and before him, Demar. I mean, do you, do you enjoy having that type of pressure when you're out on the field? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Like I'm always full of energy, and like I always try to challenge myself, man. Like even in practice, if I know the play or like what's going to happen, I still challenge myself, stay in my scoops, read my keys, and everything like it lead me to the play. You break down that play you had, that interception. Okay, so I'm on the sideline. I'm about to go on defense. Uh, Jordan Whitehead was like, hey, man, where you in your yo? Just read it. Just read it. Stay patient. So go out there. I, I got to stay patient. I seen the tight end run like a drag route, and I just got in front of him. It was either a big hit or pick six. So I, was, I wasn't trying to hit my team or anything like that, man. I need everybody to be on as one. So I was like, I'm just going for the ball. How have you guys grown as a safety group as far as communication with your, with your guys out there, being on the same page, relaying information? Because that's a lot of responsibility you guys have. Okay, so we got we got some new guys in that room, but we also like we've been here since day one, since we came in as recruits, man. We all been close, so now it's like that bond we got with each other. Communication is like easy, making the plays easier out there for us, man. We get to read everything, man. We get to talk as if we're outside of football, and even outside of football, we together we watch a film. Hey, Bond, like Javon McIntyre, man, I ain't gonna lie, that's. My dog, he, he, he stay on me. Even if I'm, I'm messing up, hey, PJ, tighten up. It's my boy. Is your interception uh, more athleticism or just reading? Oh, uh, just reading my keys, man. Like, uh, you can say both, though, because at the end of the day, you still got to, it's up to you to make a play. So I just read my keys, man, and, and follow what Jordan told me, man. How much do you feed off of what Donovan and what um, Javon are able to do out there? Oh, man, like, those guys are incredible, man. Like just knowing, like I got them on the back end. Like if I need them on my post route, hey man, come to the post for me. I, I might need you this play, or come hit the, hit the run fit for me. So those guys are incredible, man. I, I really appreciate those guys. Even Steph Hall, man. Like sometimes, like I don't go with the ones. I, and Steph Hall to go, man. I try to coach him up, make him be the best player he can be. PJ, you play on a defense that's known for its dominance on the defensive line. But is there any aspect of the defensive backs wanting to kind of make the secondary the identity of this year's defense? Is there like a competition within the defense that you guys want to be the most dominant unit this year? Ain't no competition, man. It ain't, it's not possible without the D line. Yeah. If, if the quarterback got all day, sorry for us. Like we, we can't do nothing. So like like for instance, one play two, I told the Kai Johnson, man, let's go get the quarterback, man. Let's go get him. DJ, speaking of how they, you know, he won the Conway Award. So what have you seen from him as a teammate? I think you were both in the same class just over these past couple of years and you know how he performed this spring. That's my roommate first. So, hey, man, that's a big deal. Like, when he got the award, man, I'm screaming, man, back to 620, let's go. <laughs> so that's my boy, man. I seen him come a long way, man. I ain't going to lie. Like, just dark times, like, not knowing what's next, man. Just waking up, coming in early, getting that work in every morning, man. Every morning. You've been here long enough to see, like, you know, sometimes it's breakdowns in the secondary that give up big scores in close games. And oftentimes coaches talk about stick to the plan, stick to what we're telling you, and you'll get there. How do you feel that this team is ready to embrace that approach when the ball hits? Oh, uh, man, I, I can say it started really from, from uh, December, man, that UCLA game, man. All the veterans, all the, all the older guys was gone, man. We had to, we had to, all we had was we had to play, man. So now we stuck together. I feel like, man, every day we come in and work to be the best, man. Coach Bates, all the coaches, man, just making sure we all know everything, drawing it up on the board. Man, we, we try to be the best every day, man, 3%. Coach, Coach Bates do. said uh, DeMar and, and Jordan were calling some plays there in the fourth quarter. What did you think of their defensive coordinator skills? Oh, man, you know, those, those guys are veterans too. So I'm like, hey, do you remember the call? Do you remember the single? So once he did, I'm like, oh, snap. Like, just knowing it was in the NFL too, like, they got a lot to remember in the NFL too, so that's a big deal too. So those guys, yeah, love those guys. What's the impact of having those guys? And what do you try to gain from their knowledge? Man, I try to, like I say, man, there's no such thing as being aggravated. I try to get everything possible out of them. I need all the information. I need to be the best player I can be to help my team so we can all be around each other, man. There ain't no such thing. I'm asking questions all day.
PJ, I mean, the next time you play here, it'll be a you know a real one. It, how how I mean, does it bother you? I guess is it annoying that you have to wait so long? You kind of just wish you can start the season tomorrow, essentially. Oh uh, man, I ain't really day by day, man. I'm looking at it next day, man. I gotta get better. I gotta get better. I'm not looking at September. I'm looking at tomorrow. What I'm gonna do tomorrow? Like tomorrow, I might go watch this, watch the film. I got to see my plays. Wait on Monday. We back at it. Go keep going. Keep stacking, man. We ain't the best. We gonna be the best, though. What what personally do you hope to get better at? Uh, you know, as camp approaches and everything before that first game arrives. Uh, keys, man. Keys, number one thing. Keys gonna take you to the plate every time. No loafing. We don't just talk about loafing on being room. You loafing is no business for you out there. Everybody to the ball, all of them. Just to be, just to be clear, you prefer PJ to Phil. Right? I don't matter, man. Like when they say PJ or Phil, you know what he's talking about. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Anything final? 